Hello everyone! Today we continue talking about sleeves. I've already showed you several types of sleeves, and I want to show you some more. Today I'll show you how to make butterfly sleeve of a circular fabric. I don't have a compass to draw a circle with a diameter 45 cm. This piece is 45 cm wide, so I need to fold the fabric. I'll pin it. You can see that the edges are not even, but I don't need them. I mark the center. Such sleeves used to be very popular. I think that they are very nice. I've come across such design in a book recently and realized I have to show it to you. This is a quarter circle. I'll use a ruler to draw a circle because I don't have a compass which is wide enough. I make beam-like moves and draw the lines, 22 cm long each, to make a circle. I've already showed you this technique. This is the quarter circle. I remind you that I'm cutting the four layers of fabric now. I show you so many types of sleeves because I want to help you be different. Have a look at the circle. Its diameter is 44 cm. I've marked all the cranes. These parts are bias. This dummy's armhole circumference is 38 cm. Let's calculate the needed radius. I divide 38 by 2 pi, 6.14. The radius is 6.2 cm. I need to measure 6.2 cm with a compass. I hope you understand that now I'm cutting a circle for the yam hole. The circle I'm drawing now should be even to this arm hole. I measure 6.2 cm with the compass. Notice that I'm not drawing the circle in the center. Measure 6.2 cm with the compass, put a mark there and start drawing a circle with the center in this point. Let me check if this circle is wide enough. It is. It's not easy to work with organza. I've made the first circle 44 cm wide. You can make it bigger or smaller. It's up to you. The second circle should be even to the armhole. 
I'll cut out this circle now. You already know that I like interesting and unusual designs. You may think that these are just the two circles, but actually it's a sleeve. I need to mark the center. Now I'll show you what to do next. I match the center sleeve with the center shoulder. Insert such sleeve just like any other one. I'll pin the sleeve to show you how it looks like. Do not be afraid to make sleeves of such design. You can line them, stitch them with overlock, edge them, process them like you usually process any other sleeve. You should also gather the sleeve head just a bit. You can see that the smaller part of the sleeve is onto the arm now. This is how such sleeve looks like when it's made of organza. It will look absolutely different if it's made of some other fabric. The technique is the same. Now I'll show you something else. I'll turn the sleeve in such way that the longer part is under the arm. This is how it looks like now. It's not the best design for Ganza. I think you understand what I'm trying to do. You can make such sleeves of Ganza or some other fabric. You can also make such sleeves of several layers of fabric. They will look amazing. I think I like it when the shorter part is under the arm better. Remember that practice makes perfect. Try edging such sleeves differently. Use different seams and different techniques. I'm sure you'll manage to do it. Don't be afraid to use your imagination. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Paukštė Irina. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.